there's no secret to building a more muscular physique. Lift weights. But it's not just how you lift. When you lift is also key. How many times a week? Which body parts to train when? So today, we are looking at how to plan your workout week. Over three days, four days, and five days. For the most effective use of your time in the gym. So let's start with a three day split. This is a great option if you're just starting out or if you have a busy schedule. With a three day split, you'll work the whole body over three different workouts, allowing a rest day in between each workout. The most popular formula for the three day split is push, pull, legs. Let's take a look at a typical three day split with trainer Ross. Starting with push day, working the three main pushing muscle groups, chest, triceps, and shoulders. And first, for shoulders, military press. Going on to lateral raises with dumbbells, plate raises hitting the front delts, and finally working on traps with shrugs. Moving on to chest, Ross goes for incline dumbbell press, then machine press, dumbbell flies, transitioning to triceps with dips, Dips work both the chest and triceps in one movement. Then into overhead extensions. And finally, tricep kickbacks. Completing the major pushing movements for shoulders, chest, and triceps in a single workout. One of the principles behind the way this workout is structured is always to start with a compound movement. Compound movements are the big exercises that hit the major muscle you're targeting, and at the same time, using other supporting muscles, allowing you quickly to build up to heavy loads. As the workout progresses, Ross moves to isolation exercises. These work only one muscle, reaching failure with a lighter weight, more reps, so day two of this three-day split is pull day, back and biceps. Starting with body weight pull-ups, that big compound movement, adding extra weight each set. Then bent over rows, close grip pull-downs for both the lats and middle back, and straight arm pull-downs, in this case using an underhand grip to help isolate the lats. On to biceps and easy bar curls, again, that pulling movement. And finally, cable curls coming across the body for a different angle. The three-day split formula gives you plenty of flexibility, maybe concentrating your training over a long weekend, or spreading the workouts across the week, allowing a rest day between each session. So now the third session of Ross's three-day split, the one that everybody loves, leg day. Starting with squats, the king of exercises. Building up the weight, going for fewer reps. Again, that big compound movement to start. Then onto the machine for leg press, working each leg separately here. Moving on to more isolation exercises, it's leg extensions, leg curls on the machine, hitting those hamstrings, and often neglected, calves with calf raises. Finally, to burn the legs out completely, walking lunges. So that's an effective three-day split workout with trainer Ross using the recommended push-pull legs formula. Moving on now to a typical four-day split with trainer Mike. Working out four days a week gives you more options to try different combinations of muscle groups from one week to the next, or to target particular body parts that need more attention. Mike builds his four-day split by combining two main body parts or large muscle groups in each workout. Day one is chest and shoulders, 
starting with a great compound exercise, flat bench press. Chest and shoulders are a good combination because the upper chest and the front delts often work together in compound movements like this. In today's workout, Mike's alternating between chest and shoulders. So next, for shoulders, it's a dumbbell lateral raise. And to keep the intensity, Mike's using supersets. So straight into plate front raise. Back to chest, supersetting two cable movements, cable press, and for more isolation, cable fly. Shoulders again with dumbbell press, going for single arm, keeping one side in tension while the other side's working. Next, chest, close grip dumbbell press, superset with classic push-ups. Finally, some cable raises, going for lots of reps to burn out at the end of the workout. So that's chest and shoulders worked, using supersets to add real intensity to the workout. For day two, Mike's allocated a whole day to back because he wants to add mass to his back to create a balance with the other upper body muscles. Starting with body weight pull-ups, compound movement again. Next, it's a barbell row on the incline bench. Then, supersetting T-bar row with lying dumbbell pullback, both hitting that middle back onto an alternating cable pulldown. Again, keeping tension on one side while working the other. Next, a rack pull. This is like a deadlift, but just doing the upper part of the movement. Adding a shrug to make sure the traps are also included. Finally, seated cable row. Single arm for a full range of motion. Completing Mike's back day day two of this four-day split. And for day three, it's arms. In many workout splits, biceps and triceps are trained on different days. Doing a full arms day helps make sure the arms are balanced and in proportion. Today's workout is all supersets, taking advantage of the added pump you get by training biceps and triceps together. So first, underhand bodyweight pull-up. The grip throwing more work on the biceps. Straight into a seated dumbbell curl. Second superset is for triceps. Overhead easy bar extension on an incline bench. Combined with close grip lying barbell press. Back to biceps for an easy bar reverse curl using an overhand grip followed by spider curls on incline bench. Triceps again, with weighted dips, keeping the body upright to hit triceps. Plus, tricep extension using the rope. So, that's a full pump for biceps and triceps covered. In this four-day split, there's no separate day for abs, so Mike's jumping in here with some hanging knee crunches, Arms day is a good day to add in some abs and core exercises because arms aren't the biggest muscles, so there's still plenty of energy left in the tank. Adding a V-sit crunch, plus some hit cardio with battle ropes. So finally, day four of this four-day split, it's legs. Starting with front squats, building up the weight, fewer reps, heavier weight. Next, into Bulgarian split squat. Again, working quads, hamstrings, and glutes. On to more of an isolation exercise, lying leg curl, working directly on the hamstrings. Next, a superset, stiff leg deadlift, straight into step ups, keeping the body upright, working on the quads. Moving on to dumbbell squats, heels elevated to help keep the spine upright, going to failure on the final set. 
Walking lunges complete the work on quads, glutes, and hamstrings. Finally, to finish, standing calf raises, making it harder by adding a hold every 10 reps. So that was Mike's typical four-day split workout. But the beauty of the four-day format is you can mix it up from week to week using different combinations of muscle groups and work more on lagging body parts. Next, a full five-day split program. But first, news that Fit Media's expert trainers have created a range of three, four, and five-day split plans for you to follow in your own training. Available in the Fit Media training app, complete with a workout log to help you track your gains, no matter how many days a week you train. Hit the link for your free trial. So here we go with a full body five day split with trainer Justin, going for maximum muscle growth across all body parts. Starting with day one, a familiar combination, back and biceps. First exercise, weighted pull-ups. Supersetting two rowing movements next, bent over row with a chest supported dumbbell row. Then wide grip pull downs, similar movement to the pull-ups, but this time dropping the weight each set, increasing the reps. Next, rope pullover for the lats, followed by seated row. Final superset for back, rack pull, as we saw earlier, combined with a trap raise, usually done standing up. But this angle helps work the lower part of the traps, which extend down to the middle back. After back, it's biceps. Justin's happy with the size of his biceps, so just a couple of exercises today. A concentration curl using the cable, and a Zotman curl, a movement that also works the brachialis, a muscle that sits under the bicep, along with forearms. In a five-day split, it's impossible to get a full rest day between every workout, so Justin's alternating upper and lower body to give each body part time to recover. So day two is leg day, starting with squat, a classic compound movement. Then onto the machine for leg press. Two isolation exercises next, supersetted together, leg extensions and lying leg curl. Another superset, good mornings, working glutes and hamstrings, combined with reverse lunges. Next, really hitting those hamstrings, supersetting stiff leg deadlift with a glute hamstring raise. On to the Smith machine for a front squat, this time lighter weight, but keeping constant tension across the movement. That's a tough one to finish your leg workout. Day three in Justin's five day split is shoulders. After warm up, first working set, dumbbell shoulder press. Next, a variation on the lateral raise, starting with heavy weights for partial reps, just the lower half of the movement. Then, change to lighter weight for the full lateral raise. A superset now, hitting front and rear delts separately. Incline front raise, then flip it over for face down front raise, working the back of the shoulder. Next superset, seated face pulls, on this version, keeping the shoulder blades together to make the rear delts do the work. Superset with a lying rear delt fly. Finally, over to cables for single arm cable lateral raise. On day four, Justin's chosen an added leg day. The five day split gives trainers a chance to address any imbalances with an extra day working on lagging body parts. Legs are a popular choice, but other trainers create an extra day for back, chest, or shoulders. 
often adding some abs as we saw with Mike. So, Justin's added leg day goes front squats on elevated heels, a variation on leg press, today with feet set high and wide to work more on hamstrings and glutes. Then a superset, hack squats, combined with bodyweight sissy squats. Next superset is a leg extension. Then a trap bar deadlift. In this version, Justin's standing on a plate so he can get the bar lower for more of a stretch on the hamstrings. Finally, for added leg day, lying leg curl. Superset with Bulgarian split squat. As you've seen with our other trainers, using supersets to add speed and intensity to the workout. So Justin's final day in his five-day split, chest and triceps. Again, combining two pushing movements. After warm-up, straight into incline dumbbell press. A compound exercise focusing on bringing up the upper chest. Then it's a superset, cable flies. And starting to get the triceps working with tricep pushdowns. Supersets again, dumbbell pullovers, paired with lying dumbbell extensions. Although Justin's working different muscles, he's using the same type of equipment for each superset, making the workout faster and more efficient. The next exercise combines both chest and triceps. It's dips, using a weight for added resistance. Then a superset, pec deck fly. Moving over to overhead tricep extensions with the rope. Finally, machine press. This machine uses a close grip, using both triceps and pecs all in one movement. Of course, the five-day split allows you many more options for your workouts. For an even split, you could simply hit chest, back, shoulders, arms, and legs on different days. Or you could use the push-pull legs format for three days, then add an upper body day and a lower body day. Arranging your weekly plan to allow each body part at least two days rest.